Welcome to Springboro 45066, the TV news magazine of Springboro, Ohio. The September-October edition, 2016, in part one, Carrie introduces us to the co-owners of a new business in the historic district, Shop Smitten. Allie and Lisa have a fall update on programs at the Springboro Library. Karen DeRosa introduces us to our new superintendent of schools, Dan Schrader. I talk with Danny and Ray at Bacon Buddies, and Mayor Egenbrook meets with international flight attendant Christine Garrett. Mayor Egenbrook talks to us about six new restaurants coming to Springboro and co-hosting with John and Don, yours truly, for part one is Mike Hemmelgein and his sweetheart, Rosie. We are at 550 South Main Street, the Raymond James Building. My co-host Don and I, hey, welcome. That's welcome. We have a special guest, or I should say guest. We have Mike Hemmelgrim, and we have Rosie. Hello! <laughs> and we're going to have a lot of fun at this show. Uh, Rosie, how are you today? I'm doing well. How are you? I'm just fine. What's that guy next to you? He's a little frisky. Hey, oh, he's Rosie! He's a little... Oh, he's upside down. Wow. <laughs> You're looking good today, dear. Oh, well, thank you. Yeah. So are you. <laughs> I used to date him, you know. Did you did say date Don? Oh, I did. Uh -huh. I went out on a couple dates, and I had to slap upside the head a couple of times. <laughs> <laughs> thought he was getting fresh? No, nope, thought he was dead. <laughs> <laughs> That's why he's wearing that suit today. He's trying to make it <laughs> get on the good side of Rosie again. Is it working, Rosie? No. <laughs> <laughs> Well, anyway, we're glad to have you on the show. We're going to have a lot of fun. Well, thank you. Well, our first of all, we're going to go right down the street here to 205 South Main Street, Shop Smitten. Carrie had that interview, and let's go look at that clip. Thanks, Mr. Mayor. We are standing in the new location of Shop Smitten, 205 South Main Street. I'm joined by co-owners Leslie Moss and Cammie Mosier. Ladies, welcome. Thank you. So tell me a little bit about the new space. Um, we are just so excited to be here before we are located down the street and now we have a new space and we are just smitten with it, which is why we named it that. Uh, we just love our products and we really wanted to sell items that we just love and believe in. It's a beautiful space, and it's obviously larger, which is awesome because you can carry more pretties, as we call them. <laughs> <laughs> so, Cammy, tell me a little bit about what the move has meant for you guys, other than, you know, increased space and increased business. Yeah. Um, previously, we were in Leslie's photography studio, which was great to launch where we were and to get a uh, buzz going around in Springboro. So, moving here has meant we've been able to create what we've wanted to create since the very beginning. Um, we have our cash wrap that we always dreamed of and we have all the clothes that we always dreamed of and all the little things that we've had a vision for and now they're all coming to life. So that's been huge for us. We have a variety of items too that we sell here in the store. So clothing, jewelry, some home and gift items. We were really excited to offer some new lines. So some things that are fair trade, other that are artisan made, a few things that are made locally, um, but just all things that we love and would want for ourselves. And that's what we want to offer to the community. Well, it is a beautiful store. And something that I love about it is that you really cater to all ages of women here. I mean, literally from preteen to, you know, grandmothers in their 70s. So it's, it's a really fantastic store. So I know we have some exciting upcoming events to talk about. Tell me a little bit about Ladies Night. Um, there is another Ladies Night coming up October 20th, and it's a way that we can partner with all the other businesses down here in the historic Spring Road Business District. So all the businesses are open late hours, offering free refreshments and drinks and things like that. Everyone usually has a special deal going on, but it's just fun that we can all support each other, support shopping local. And I mean, we all offer different products and different things. So it's just a great partnership and great community we have down here. So tell us when you are open, because I'm sure you've got a crowd of people out there now that are dying to come in and check out Shop Smitten. Um, our hours are Tuesday through Saturday, 11 to five. Mm -hmm. Our Facebook is um, facebook.com slash shop smitten. Okay. And our Instagram is shop, S-H-O-P-P-E dot smitten. You girls are wonderful. Thank, Thank you. you. Back to you, Mr. Mayor. Mm -hmm. Thanks, girls. We wish you the best of luck. I know you'll do very well. Thank you, Carrie, for the interview. I wonder if they have any clothes down there that would fit Rosie. Uh, 
it would be hard. They'd have to be little, little, yeah. They'd have to be pretty, uh huh. And they'd have to have a hole in the back. Yes. <laughs> oh my goodness. That should be tough. <laughs> <laughs> oh well. Uh, now that we are uh, really warming up, let's go to the, where? To the library? We're going to go to the library. And I know Rosie's been at the library. She's oh, appeared at the library. Hi, Lisa. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> we're never getting hired back. No, yeah. <laughs> Allie and Lisa at the library. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Don. And welcome back to the Springboro Library. We had an excellent summer with lots of fun programs, but now it's time to think about fall and everything we have um, coming up. For adult programs this fall, on October 3rd at 6.30 p.m., we'll have a program focusing on the ins and outs of iPhones. Um, participants can bring their phones with you, but it's not required. They can just come and take notes. This will be led by adult education instructor Bernie McStay, and Bernie will be able to address specific questions on iPhones as well. Then on October 17th, again at 6.30 p.m., Bernie McStay will be back, but this time to talk about Android phones. And then for teen programs this fall, we will have some fun events, but exact dates have not been nailed down yet. All teen patrons are just encouraged to keep an eye on the Franklin Springboro Public Library website to stay informed about programs for teens. Fall story times are now in session at the Springboro Library and will run through November 10th. Baby time is Monday at 9.30. Toddlers have three times to pick. They are Monday at 10.30 and Thursday at 9.30 or 10.30. And preschool story times continue to be held on Mondays and Thursdays at 11.30. Families are welcome to attend a story time for all ages on Thursday evening at 6.30. Also, the Christmas in Springboro celebration will be going on this year, November 18th, 19th, and 20th. And remember, this is a great time of the year to start thinking of snuggling up with some good books and movies. Your library has a lot of what you need for some good family fun time. Now back to you, Don. Hmm? Thank you, Lisa. <laughs> Are there men out there? Yeah, yeah there, there, there's men out there. Are you thinking about getting a man? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Are you thinking about marrying anyone? Yeah, pretty much anyone. I'm desperate. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> anyway, <Desperate> guys, <laughs> hurry up and take it. <laughs> well, we have a new superintendent of schools in Springboro. Woo. And Karen DeRosa is at the Board of Education, uh, sitting right now with a new superintendent. And we're going to meet him and find out all about him. All right. Thank you, Don. You know, I often say I have one of the best jobs in town as communications coordinator for Springboro Schools. I get to talk about our students and the great things happening every day, but today I'm going a little bit off script. I want to introduce you to our new superintendent, Dan Schreier. And you know, Dan, you, you hit the ground running. And I don't even know if I have taken a moment to say, welcome to Springboro Schools. We are so glad you're here. Well, it's been an exciting couple of weeks. I mean, right now, I think this has um, only been here now three weeks. Um, we started August 1st. I, I left the other job the Friday before. So I had two days where we were moving things to Southwest Ohio and began. But the opportunity to meet our students, to meet our amazing staff, our administrators and boards of education has been a wonderful three weeks so far. I'm so glad to hear that. And by the time that our viewers are watching this, you will be totally into Springboro uh, culture and you'll be seeing people at football games and out at our concerts and meeting with the community. Tell us a little bit about uh, your plans for reaching out in our community. Well, I look forward to being a part of many student events as well as community events. For example, already I've had the opportunity to be a part of the Springboro Chamber of Commerce Board of Directors. So there will be chamber activities I'll be going to. Just this morning, I was part of the Springboro Rotary meeting. So with that amazing group, we'll be able to learn not only the community leaders, but actually serve the community. The Rotary's motto is service above self. And through that, we actually have an interact organization at the school of over 100 members where those students are going to learn that. I, I guess my point is, I'm going to be involved in the community events, but I'm going to be involved in the school events. By the time this show is aired, yes, people will see me at many football games, tennis matches, even going to golf matches and so forth. But being involved in the schools, we have six amazing buildings, and I love walking through those buildings, seeing the kids, seeing the teachers, and the excitement of the kids every day in the classroom. Let's talk about your path that took you to the classroom in the first place. Tell us a little bit about your background. 
Um, I went to New Bremen High School. Um, actually a very small school in Glaze County. Only had 52 students in my graduating class. I graduated from New Bremen in 1987, went to The Ohio State University, and became a teacher. And I still miss teaching every day. Um, I think teachers have the greatest job in the world. And I taught high school. I taught 9 through 12, agricultural science and agriculture business. So I had students four straight years. And to watch their growth from even being a 14 or 15 year old to when they graduate was phenomenal. From there I had the opportunity to become an administrator where I was able to hopefully provide some positive interaction and positive experiences for more students. And that has led me here to Springboro. And we're glad you're here. Let's talk about that recent news we heard, the Newsweek uh, rankings of high schools here in our country. Well, Newsweek um, does the rankings every year. And uh, this past year, Springboro High School is honored to be ranked 66th in America. Now, the local point of that is only one school in Ohio, Indian Hill, ranked higher than Springboro High School. So of all the schools in the state of Ohio, 610 school districts in Ohio, Springboro ranks number two. And that goes back to the amazing work of this great team of teachers, support staff, administrators, and the Board of, Direct, or Board of Education that has been working for years to develop the right educational experience for students, providing the right intervention, the right help to get students where they need to be so they are successful. Everything you just described uh, goes to that epic mission statement. When, when we say we engage, we prepare, we inspire, we challenge. Develop that with our community over the last couple of years. Now you're here at the helm. Tell us what that means to you. Well, everywhere we go in the district, right behind you now, engage, prepare, inspire, and challenge. You know, here at Springboro, we're going to engage our students, but we're going to engage the community, the parents, in helping our students have the best experiences. We prepare those students to be successful here at school, but to be successful in post-secondary experiences, internships, military after high school. The most important goal that we can have is that students, when they leave here, 100% of the students after graduation have a purpose. They're employed, they're receiving education and being prepared for lifelong learning. Throughout that whole experience, we're inspiring our students to want to be educated, to want to be involved. Dan, thank you so much for sitting down with us, get, letting our community get to know you just a little bit. What happens if they want to reach out to you? What's the best way for our community to connect with, with you as superintendent? Well, the best way is when they see me at events, wave, bring me over, introduce themselves. But they can always call the Board of Education office. They can always call. Hopefully, I'm here to be able to answer a phone call. They can email me. Um, you know, and quite frankly, if, if a community member just wants to talk and share ideas, I would love to sit down and have a cup of coffee with them. Dan, thanks again. Thanks for being here. Welcome to Springboro. Back to you. Uh, Karen, thank you so much for that great interview. The, the new superintendent is, is a wonderful guy. Got a chance to meet you, Dan, at the chamber breakfast. Uh, we wish you the best of luck for our schools. Welcome aboard. He's going to do a great job, Don. He is. Okay, Bacon Buddies. If, if, you, if, you're, on, yeah, if you're on Facebook. Bacon Buddies is all over the place. Every day they tell you what they've cooked up for lunch and where they're going to be. Really? Well, you know what? We're going to have to try that. Oh, no. I'm gaining way too much weight. Too much weight. Uh -huh. All you have to do is watch what you eat. I'd like to sit. My eyes ain't fast enough. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Bacon Buddies, here they are, Danny Woo! and Ray. Yeah. And they're going to show us some of the goodies they've they, cooked they, up. They, 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 they. Yeah. Hey, I'm at Hardy Diagnostics here on um, Pioneer Boulevard in Springboro, and I'm with Bacon Buddies. You, wait till you have their food. It's out of this world. Now, if you've been on Facebook, you've seen Bacon Buddies, believe me. And this is Danny, and this is Ray. Mm -hmm. And Danny and Ray, Ray is the head chef. She's the CEO of the kitchen. And Danny's the drill grill sergeant, right? Yes, sir. And he grills everything just the way you want it. Anyway, tell us a little bit. I mean, you guys moved here from Texas. You're in Springboro now. Tell us a little bit about the company here, Bacon okay. Buddies. Well, the company started in 2012. Okay. It started out just small catering, little cupcakes here and there. And, right. and then we just started dreaming bigger. It kept getting bigger and bigger. And we decided to move. Uh, after his retirement. So we came out here to spring, didn't know how we was gonna, we don't even know how we ended up here. We just kept rolling, kept rolling, and we finally got here and um, it just took off. It took off within oh, within a month after we were amazing. here. Yeah, Been cooking since I was eight. 
Oh, so, <laughs> my heavens. <laughs> been cooking since I was eight, been baking since I was about 12. My first delicious good was my grandmother's uh, rice, rice pudding. Oh, my. Now, my banana puddings are my top sellers. Now, is this what sold you on this lovely lady? <laughs> Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> uh, what are we going to have to eat? And she just laid it on you, right? And said, well, we're going to have this. You can have that. You can have this. Whoa, I'm home. Yeah. Yes, yeah. sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. So we kind of bring, we bring, we brought Texas with us. My background is Texas and Louisiana. Okay. Um, so we kind of do a little bit of Cajun. Even with our salads, we do Cajun shrimp. We do Cajun oh. chicken and dulé oh. sausage. We do gumbo. The barbecue guy right here can tell you a little bit more about the barbecue part part of it right the poor pork all of that good stuff homemade barbecue sauce he's your guy he's the guy he's the guy yes sir we have our own homemade rub sauce we have our barbecue sauce we do our bfts our big fat texas turkey legs <laughs> we also have our baby back ribs okay. we also have it expanded into our our bud spuds mm -hmm. we have spuds. yes sir it is a huge loaded baked potato oh that can sounds stuff like it with three meats you can do cheese Wow. All top of toppings on there. Mm -hmm. You also have heard of the blooming onion. Yes. But we have the exploding potato. <laughs> so we've extended to the meatball marinated. Wow. Uh, pineapple bowl, chicken pulled teriyaki. Pork. Yep. Pulled oh, pork. What else we're missing? Our buddy dogs. Oh, oh the, the buddy, buddy dogs. dogs. That's yes. Yeah. Sir, we have <laughs> over seven variety of buddy dogs. Oh my. We have our Frito buddy dog, mm -hmm. our Stadium buddy dog, the Reuben, the Reuben buddy dog. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Oh, we even have the Reuben potato. <laughs> wow. Now, you go around. I mean, you're here today at Har Hardy Diagnostics, mm -hmm. but I've seen you around town at mm -hmm. some of the other places. Yes, sir. This is our first time actually being invited here by um, Hardy Diagnostics. And we have been, of course, we get the support at, from the Donut House, right. uh, support from Edwards Furniture, support from Eric Smith with Smith's Auto Care. Right. We get support from Mr. Barry over at Magnolia's on Main. Right. Yeah. And... Um, um, we just, we, we've gotten invitations even as far as Cincinnati and Dayton. Oh. We was just out in Anna this past week. Wow. Yeah. Now, you, didn't you do something with the high school too? Yes, we did Teachers Appreciation Day down okay. at Heather's Cafe. So we get a lot of love support from her as well. Okay. Um, it was awesome that we got a chance to meet so many, matter of fact, some of our children teachers. So we, <laughs> we got a chance to meet a lot of good people, had a lot of support. It was fun. It was a fun experience for us. Okay. Mm -hmm. So if you're watching right now, Bacon Buddies. Now you deliver too. Now what yes, if somebody sir. wanted to pick something up? They How do they get a hold they of They can call, call the order in. Call they, the order in and mm -hmm. then pick it up? They can call us at 937-503-1792. We do offer delivery. We also offer military discounts. Oh. We also offer offers discounts for the, for the fire department, for oh, the local yes. police departments. We haven't even touched the sweet side of it, like my cakes, <laughs> cupcakes. We do anything from cupcakes to wedding cakes. Okay. Tea cakes to oatmeal cookies. From the first birthday to the 101st birthday. Oh! You can go on our Facebook page right. at uh, Bacon Buddies at Facebook.com, <laughs> and you will see all of our, some of our menus are up. We post our daily locations okay. and what our menu is for the day. Okay. And we also have some of our events on there mm -hmm. that, uh, you know, people have commented and, sure. you know, about the food and everything. Okay. Bacon Buddies is B-A-K-N -E Buddies, B-U-D-D-Y-E-S. -E 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 Since we've been here, honestly, we have truly been blessed. This right. community, just the support from Springboro. God knew what he was doing when he led us oh, here. Oh, that's awesome. And it's awesome. We've, we've met a lot of awesome people. A phone number. 937-503-1792. Where we celebrate food and celebrate, celebrate life. life. <laughs> Danny and Ray, thank you so much. Uh, we appreciate all you did at concerts in the park this year. I know you'll be back next year. Everybody raved about your food. We look forward to seeing you all over town in the months to come and enjoying some of that great, great food that you put out. Absolutely. Bacon Buddies. Absolutely. Okay, well, you know what? It's time to shift gears. I think I hear Joe in the background with a drum roll. Rosie, it is Meet Your Neighbor segment, but you're not on, but you're not on it. No. But you're here. You're helping us co-host this show, so that's what counts. Yeah. Anyway, we have someone who's been in Springboro for about 20 years, and she flies all over the world. Uh, she's a flight attendant. Uh, big time flight attendant for American Airlines. And Christine Garrett, I'm glad to have you on the show. Let's go see that clip. Hmm? 
Part one, meet your neighbor and the foxy lady, Christy <laughs> Garrett. Thank you for joining me hey, in the you're show. Welcome, All welcome, right. Mr. Mayor. Anytime. So glad to see you. Good to see you, too. Why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? Well, um, my name's Christy. I've been a, purser, a flight attendant for American Airlines for 28 years. And um, I live here in Springboro. I've lived here for... Um, 20 years. Um, I grew up in Carlisle and lived there and uh, my husband just happened to live here. <laughs> and uh, we live in town and love it. We're a mile from Main Street. And uh, that's, uh, I have two boys, one graduate of uh, Springboro and uh, the other one's a junior. And I have, uh, my older son has uh, two kids, so I'm a grandma now. Oh, congratulations. Thank you. And I uh, love that. So that's me. Well, why don't you uh, tell us some interesting stories about some of the things that, you know, I live on American Airlines. Yes, you obviously. do. We, that's how I you, met you. Why don't you tell originally. the audience how we met? Well, I met the mayor one day. Um, we, um, I, was, I wasn't going on the flight. I was just boarding the flight. They were waiting for the flight attendants. They were late. And um, he had a shirt on that said City of Springboro. And I said, oh, what state, uh, city? of Springboro do you live in? And he said, well, I'm the mayor of Springboro, Ohio. And I said, oh, that's where I live. I've lived there for a long time. So um, that was uh, late 90s, early 2000s. So we've been buds ever since. That's right, yeah. yeah. Well, why don't you tell, share some stories with us about some of the crazy things you've seen in the airline industry? Well, crazy is... Uh, Mildly, right? Mild. I don't know how to <laughs> even put it. I would have to say that, um, you know, there's always certain routes that flight attendants know that are going to be more, uh, there's going to be more drinkers or, you know, more activity. Um, China's, China's one of those. Um, Manchester, England, big drinkers. Um, I haven't flown it yet, but I understand that um, Sydney, Australia is the same way. They're big drinkers and so very, a lot of activity. Um, uh, well, I have lots of interesting stories. I guess I've, I have a, a book that has some celebrity, um, a few pictures. I didn't ever take a lot of pictures of that, um, but I uh, have several autographs um, and things like that. Ernie Banks, very nice man. Um, Steve Garvey, of course, was a favorite baseball player of mine that I met. And um, Jerry Seinfeld, actually, I met him going to LA one time. and. Um, he arranged for a couple tickets for me and my crew to go see Johnny Carson. Ooh, that would be neat. Yeah, yeah, and it just happened to be a show that Leonard Nimoy was on, so I got a lot of good bonuses that day. Oh, you did, yeah. Yeah, so you just never know who you're going to meet and how friendly they're going to be and, you know, connections they make with you. Uh, we had a diversion. We were going to New York, I think, and it was actually, uh, if you remember, Lou Rawls used to have this uh, ma marathon thing. Love his voice. Yes. Anyway, um, we diverted to Pennsylvania somewhere, and um, he sang for us. Oh, really? On the airline? On the airplane. Oh, on the cool airplane in, in uh, first class oh, on a wow. Super 80. Oh, wow. Um, it was wonderful, and uh, it was kind of nice. I knew all the words and sang, you know, kind of sang with him and stuff. Uh, my girlfriend, she she knew of him, but she didn't really <laughs> know. So, but then she was a big fan. So, oh, yeah. Hey. Um, yeah, you just never know. Well, why don't you tell us, since you've been here for 20 plus years, why don't you tell us why you like living in Springboro, why you don't like living in Springboro, or anything you want to say about Springboro? Because everybody knows you, and I think it's, <laughs> and, and you know. I do know a lot of people. Well, you get out, and that's, I mean, that's what Springboro's all about. Yeah. Meeting people, having fun. Yeah. And, uh, my husband and I, Guy, if you don't know him, he's 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 a local figure. When I'm gone flying, he, he usually ha comes and hangs at Heather's or goes to mm -hmm. Ambiance. And so um, we have a joke sometimes that some people know him, they don't know me or never met me, and they wonder if he's actually married <laughs> because I'm imaginary. But um, but yeah, we, we love our, uh, our local businesses and, um, you know, um, shop local and... and um, when I come home, it's it's my little realm, just here in Springboro. Well, you're a lot of things, Christy, but imaginary is not one of them. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not. I'm real, and I live here, so I like it here. And we love having you here. It makes the city that much better having thanks. people like you. Yeah, thanks. Christy Garrett, thank you so much for being with us. You're here. welcome. Uh -huh. Thanks for mm -hmm. the time. Yeah. Mm -hmm.
Thanks, Christy, for being on the show. You look great in that uniform, and I know I'll see you on flights because that's all I fly is American Airlines. Okay, John. We're turning the show over to Rosie. All <laughs> right. Woo it's about time you guys were boring. <laughs> <laughs> We go out, we do shows all over the place for libraries, fairs, festivals, corporate events. Uh, you name it, we're there. We provide you know clean comedy entertainment. That's a relative term, comedy. Yeah, but we also juggle, we make balloon animals, we do ventriloquism, lots of audience participation, and we have a lot of fun. And guys, that's kind of what we do. Website is MikeHemmelgarn.com, M-I-K-E-H-E-M-M-E-L-G-A-R-N. Dot com and our phone number. Can I give that out? Yeah, oh, sure absolutely. can. All right, and you can write this down, Don. Oh, thank you. Nine three seven six two zero six six one five. Again, nine three seven six two zero six six one five. Yeah. Can you I get that, Don? Yeah, I got, got it. it. Okay, got good. All the you, you have it in the Merge yeah. Library. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. yeah. There you go. Can she sing a little song? Oh right? yes, absolutely. Yeah. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> She's got to get warmed up, okay? Because <laughs> eh, 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 she's 82. Ah, it takes her a little. Eh, 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 ah, what are you doing? I'm going. Eh, 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 ah. Can you turn up my hearing aid? Your hearing aid. Uh -huh. We'll make this quick, but hold on one second. Okay. We're going to crank that baby up really quick. <laughs> oh, whoa. Rosie, ah, what's wrong? You turned it up too high. I'm sorry. I can hear your blood circulating. <laughs> Shoot, I can hear Don food digestion. <laughs> what did you eat, bugger? A truck? Look what <laughs> I can hear what John's thinking. No. Oh. Shame on you. <laughs> We're going to turn it down. Are you okay? No. no. <laughs> Just stand up here. All right. <clears throat> Sing your song really quick. You are so beautiful, Don, to me. <laughs> Can't you see? I'm dead. All right. That's good enough. We're not going to take up all your time, but we do a lot of fun things. Thank you. There you oh. go. Yeah. <laughs> this that really was, was. this was a lot of fun and the audience I'm sure is going to enjoy it just as much as oh they have a lot of fun it. we do adult shows that are clean we do kid shows family shows anything they always have fun all right well as we close part one and just thought we uh, Don and I was talking and we thought we ought to share some of the new facilities that's going to be coming to Springboro so I know we're always looking at what restaurants are coming into town etc so up on 73 where the old National City Bank, then PNC, you're going to have a Jimmy John's and a Starbucks. So that's really good. And the old place on 741 across where you have double days now, we're going to have a pulled pork place. And we're also going to have a El Toro Mexican restaurant. So those will be filling those vacancies. And then there's also Mr. Burroughs Tavern, the old Bellavino's. That's coming to town, and that's what we get ready to open. So we got several things coming to town. Uh, there's a couple others in the works. We're not at liberty to discuss because we have not signed off on them, and we don't want to do anything that would uh, not allow us to bring them to town. We're always looking to add various restaurants. As Springboro grows, and uh, you know, Don, I've been telling you for the last 15 years, we've been you know doing this show. We love doing this show, and we're up to about 40,000 population now in the Springboro community. So anyway, Don and I, we take a lot of pride in doing this show. And uh, Don, you know, he does a lot of work behind the scenes to get the things done as well as Joe. They sort of make it a little easier for me. And so, I, Don, I, I can't thank you enough for all the things you do. And you look pretty dapper debonair today, I must oh, say. I, I think that's your color. I mm. I, and I think too. Rosie is really thinking about hitting on you as soon as oh, the show's yeah. over. Yeah. Taking a liking. Uh, mm -hmm. yeah. Could Rosie do the merge walk to close the oh, show? Oh, we got to have that. I mean, of course we have to have that. What? Is, is the audience ready for this? Are you ready for the merge this walk? This is the Rosie? merge walk with the merge, the merge factor, and Rosie. So let's get with it. I'm going to have to help you. Okay. All right. You ready? Yeah, I'm, I'm going to move out of the way here. Woo! Here we go. Now this is it. This is it. Anyway, Mike, thank you again thank you. for being with us. Thank you very much. Always a pleasure, my friend, my co-host, Don. 
Exactly. We will see you very shortly on part two for 5066. Enjoy.